Okay, uh, let's do an impromptu, uh, talk to camera. Um, hello. Uh, <laughs> I'm Knur, and I've, uh, I've been busy moving apartment for the last, uh, few days, which is why I'm using a webcam rather than my normal setup. There's no green screen behind me, and, um, it'll be, it'll sort itself out soon. In the meantime, uh, I want to let you know that there's some new videos coming up on the channel. Uh, they're still Blood Bowl uh, 2 related, uh, but um, I'm taking part in the uh, Blood Bowl Super League, uh, which is a very funny name if you know anything about football slash soccer. Otherwise, it's just a pretty ego name, so cool. In any case, it's a one-minute turn resurrection uh, tournament with a playoff. Uh, we have two groups uh, and we face each other uh, one game a week and then there's uh, some playoffs. Uh, the thing that makes this super is of course the uh, participants because you know I'm in it. Um, we're gonna look at the teams uh, shortly, specifically mine, uh, but that means that uh, once a week uh, there's gonna be a game coming up on the channel that looks uh, slightly different um, and this is why. Um, I've actually already played my first game, but that was yesterday, and no, wait, no, it was, no, it was yesterday, and I was still kind of loopy because of not having slept enough due to the move and all of that, uh, but you'll see that in the video coming up after this. Um, uh, in any case, uh, let's go over to the, to the teams, shall we? Let's see, which one do I want to look at? I want to look at this one. So, in group A, there's me. Uh, there's Crucifer uh, playing Elven Uni uh, Union. There's uh, Eliod playing Orcs. Fatim playing also playing Elven Union. Gdanek playing Humans, uh, and Rick Reckless playing Ogres, and Shawnee playing Humans. Now, if you watch, um, if you watch any uh, Blood Bowl on Twitch, you'll recognize most of these names. These are some of the uh, larger streamers uh, streaming Blood Bowl. Uh, they also have a lot better, like, uh, win record in, in CCL than I do, uh, generally. Crucifer has won it, uh, the CCL and the Chalice, which is the cup afterwards, like, five times. Rick just won it last season. Uh, you know, I'm yet to qualify to the Chalice properly, so there's a thing. But, with that said, this is not necessarily a horrible team-up for... Uh, my team. I'm sure you're asking, so, like, where are all the Bashy teams? Where, what's, what's going on with that, Knorr? Where they're at? Turns out they all ended up in Group B. Group B has Andy Davey, uh, Davo in it, Calcium, uh, Dionysian, Inario, and Jimmy Fantastic, who's also, like, the admin and initiator of the whole league. Uh, Mr. Page and Purple Chest. Somehow, this group is cursed in that Inarion brought halflings, and then all the dwarves just ended up in the same group. Uh, this has been randomized, by the way. So, you know, uh, <laughs> freaking three dwarves and a Chaos Dwarf team uh, there. Um, so that's going to be uh, rough for uh, the non-dwarf uh, players that are in, in that uh, league. Uh, if you want uh, rules and other things, I'll, I'll link to Jimmy's uh, walkthrough down below, by the way. But the, the general conceit of the thing... Actually, you know what? Let's let's go in-game and have a look at uh, our team, uh, the Never Dies. Because uh, as I said at the start, this is a resurrection tournament. So even if they get injured or stuff, they come back for the next game. It also means that no one... Uh, no one levels up, you don't get any SVP, but you, you get to build your team based on a certain set of rules. And, uh, because I've not prepared well enough for this, uh, I don't have those rules at hand. But basically, the, the general breakdown is that there's a tier system in, uh, some, uh, you're allowed to build to a certain team value. I think in this case it was, uh, 1100. And then you get to buy uh, skills up to a certain team value uh, depending on what tier your team is in. So Skaven here, we're in tier 2, which means I got 150 extra to buy skills for. Uh, you should also note that I, only, I was only allowed one double and there was only allowed to be one, 
one piece that could have two skills on it. So, in my case, my double went on my Rat Ogre. Uh, I did not stack two skills on uh, anyone else. I thought about it, but I decided I wanted some more flexibility here. And I think the spice partly here is that I have a Dirty Player, Line Rat, and a Spare Player as well. So, I'm planning to foul if I can get away with it. I also have an Apo and three rerolls, uh, which... You know, is a decent amount of rerolls. You could, could have possibly bought a thrower and put a put leader on it instead if I wanted to. The thing is, the other you know thing about the this uh, league is that it's one minute turns, so there's a lot less time to think about things. And in those instances, I feel like making sure I have three rerolls and an apo seem to be more important. But Based on what I have in my grouping, I'm pretty okay with this. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's have a quick look before we go at everyone else's team that's in group A. We also have a Division 1 Concede Champ down here. Uh, since there's seven teams in this division, that means that to be able to have matchups every week, there's one team that gets to fight against a... Uh, sub, a, piece, a team that's only going to concede. First of all, we have Gdanix Humans. Uh, got himself an Ogre. A Mighty Blow Tackle Blitzer. That's really spooky uh, for me because I've got Gut Runners. They hate both of those things. Uh, guard on all of the Blitzers. Uh, block on the Thrower. And then Guard on one of the Catchers. Three rerolls, one Apothecary. Twelve players. Cool. That's me. We've looked at me. Uh, Eliod's Orcs running with a troll, two guard black orcs, one block black orc, and then more guard on the blitzers, and a tackle piece, and a goblin for the cheeky uh, chuck, a gob uh, chuck a goblin for the one turn touchdown. Only two rerolls here, so we'll see how that goes. Very sturdy though, and 13 uh, players mean with an apo means that these orcs are basically never ever gonna be down players. Uh, then we have uh, Shawnee. Shawnee has pretty much, well actually, similar uh, build as Gdanik, but there's a uh, guard on the ogre, guard on the catcher, and no block on the thrower here. I think that's the only difference. Uh, Fatsun's Pro Elves. Spooky Blitzer with Tackle Mighty Blow, but no dodge. Uh, one Blitzer with a classic Blodge Sidestep. And then two Catchers with Dodge, one with Wrestle, a Thrower, which you don't always see, but that's cool. A, a Guard Lineman and a Wrestle Lineman. Three rerolls, one Shear Leader to uh, win those uh, dice. Uh, then we have Crucifer, also running Pro Elves. Two Blodge Blitzers, that's really annoying. One Blodge Catcher, uh, two Wrestle Catchers, one uh, Leader Thrower, and two Wrestle Linemen. Twelve players, two rerolls, but in fact, you know, three rerolls. And finally, Rick, being reckless, decided to bring Ogres, and you're like, that's insane. But then you realize that Ogres uh, are tier three, so they get to spend a lot of uh, money and skills. And literally all he did was... Buy six ogres, put block on all of them, and give one of them a uh, leader. So he's actually got three rerolls, no apothecary, 14 players. Which, you know, noblars aren't necessarily that scary. But if you don't have that much tackle, they're really annoying to deal with. Most teams uh, in this group, because this is the non-dwarf uh, group, have like one or two tackle pieces. So, you know... Maybe it'll work out. Regardless, these ogres are probably going to punch people really hard and will be really sad about that. But on the flip side, only two rerolls means that uh, if they bonehead, they probably bonehead. Uh, like I said at the start, let me go back to my other screen here. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, I've already played uh, my first game against Crucifer. I'm not going to spoil how it went in this video. Uh, but there should be a video uploaded at the same time as this with that game. 
I will say, though, uh, once again, I was a bit, you know, I hadn't I hadn't slept as much as I probably would have wanted to. So I wasn't in the best, you know, mind space to think strategically when playing as Pro Elves in one minute turns. Uh, it was a pretty fun game, though, but, you know, you've been warned. 